Soon, Google Chrome might be supporting this. Yes, Joy-Cons. In fact, it might also be supporting the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, both through USB and Bluetooth. Same for these. It supports single Joy-Con use, double Joy-Con use, or with the charging grip through USB. So Bluetooth and USB support coming for Switch controllers to Google Chrome. And you know what? That just might be a big deal. Hey everyone, so support for these controllers coming to Chrome is a little bit surprising. Now this was discovered through the public website available that tracks all the upcoming changes to Chrome. Google has a public website. All the people that are posting this and have looked at this code are indeed Google employees. So it does look like this is officially coming to Google Chrome. And this is a big deal for a number of reasons. One, we know about Google's Project Stream, which was streaming Assassin's Creed Odyssey last year as a beta test. And we know on the 19th of this month, there's a GDC panel being held by Google to announce whatever's happening with the streaming service and potentially a new home console. So seeing support like this coming to Chrome is just interesting just because it's another control method. Now, the Pro Controller seeing support, if that was just the case, I don't know that I would be making this video. But the fact that these Joy-Cons are getting support, both single Joy-Con use like this and also together, makes an interesting use case for me in that these are actually inferior controls compared to a traditional gamepad, be it an Xbox 360, the Pro Controller, a Logitech controller, whatever you happen to be using on PC. So I think that it's interesting that we're seeing Joy-Con support, both single and double Joy-Con support, on a platform where, honestly, if you have options, you would use basically anything else. This suggests that Google Chrome could potentially be coming to Nintendo Switch. Now, this is me speculating, but again, why else would they be supporting Joy-Cons, which is an inferior control method, on Google Chrome for Project Stream if they weren't going to bring Google Chrome to Switch? I think if Google Chrome was coming to Switch, supporting these is a natural evolution because you have to support them to use them on Nintendo Switch. Now, Nintendo Switch does technically have an internet browser. You can access it by messing around with forgetting your password on your social media accounts. And uh, it's usable, it's workable, it is a full web browser, but it's kind of rudimentary and definitely not something meant for the public to be accessing. So adding Google Chrome support to the Switch when it's using a more Android-like OS makes a lot of sense. And it also makes a lot of sense for Project Stream to be available through that web browser. So it's possible that Google might be bringing Google Chrome to Switch and that's why they're supporting the Joy-Con support. It's also possible that they're just supporting Joy-Cons because they're trying to support every controller that happens to be out there. But again, I don't know a single user on PC that actually wants to use Joy-Cons in their games. Uh, you can kind of trick Joy-Cons already into working on PC, but nobody really does it because um, why? Why? <laughs> Outside of uh, trying to emulate Switch games, I don't know why you would even want to use this control method on your PC. That being said, I think it's very, very interesting because we're going to find out news about this very soon. I don't know if we're going to see the announcement of it coming to Switch soon. That might be something safe for a Nintendo Direct. But we also know that there's rumors out there about Project X Stream from Xbox coming to Switch. And is it possible that Switch is just going to open their platform to all streaming services that involve games, including Project Stream? Now, just because Google Chrome might be coming to Switch doesn't mean Nintendo is going to let us use it as a web browser it might literally just be able to go to project stream of course you'll probably be able to trick it into being able to use the full browser like you already can but i i don't know that nintendo cares about having a full browser on switch but if they do chrome would be a nice answer it's what a large chunk of the world is already using and yeah obviously google search support project stream support all of that sounds amazing to me it's just another avenue to enjoy games we might not otherwise be able to enjoy such as assassin's creed odyssey now uh what's interesting about all of this is uh that these controllers aren't that great uh, i think all of us can admit these joy cons aren't perfect there's drifting issues uh some connection issues there's no d-pad natively you know you can buy other ones uh third party ones that have d-pads there's no d-pad natively here and it'll be interesting to see if the Joy-Con support happens to also include third-party accessories such as the Power A controllers for Switch or if it's going to include uh, support for uh, like the Hori D-pad controllers and all that stuff. It'll be interesting to see how far the support ends up going. I do know Power A controllers can be used on PC. It's just not very good. Uh, it doesn't necessarily button map very well, but... Uh, that's okay. They make Power 8 controllers for PC specifically anyway. So 
Again, Joy-Con support, Pro Controller support is officially coming to Google Chrome in the future. And Google Chrome is where you play Project Stream. Everything for Google Chrome and Project Stream is tied together. So even if Google announces a standalone hardware system, Guarantee you it's going to have Google Chrome support so you can enjoy Project Stream so or whatever they end up calling it. I doubt it's going to be called Project Stream as a final name. So this is really, really interesting to me. And I want to know if you're excited about the idea of having this support coming to Project Stream on all platforms, let alone having this support potentially mean that Project Stream could be coming to Nintendo Switch. I actually am very curious what you guys have to say about this, uh, just like I'm curious about what my own thoughts are on this. We might have to talk about more of this on the Nintendo Prime Podcast. You might want to tune in to episode 100 that airs next week, Monday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, unless you happen to want to catch it tonight when we're recording it. If you are a $10 backer on Patreon at patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime, you actually get to see us recording the podcast, which happens on Thursday nights around 9 p.m. Uh, and yeah, actually, you, there's still an opportunity to be on tonight's podcast if you want. That's at the $20 tier, but uh, you got to hurry because uh, we're already making plans for the podcast tonight. It is the special 100th episode of the podcast, so you know we got to we gotta go hard tonight. So uh, look forward to that. Look forward to more talks about this. And uh, hey, we're just like six days away from seeing what Google's doing. So maybe I'll just use this opportunity to announce that I will be live streaming the Google event uh, that's going to be announcing whatever's happening. One, because I'm curious if they're going to talk about this for Switch. And I'm curious what this Google console or their streaming service is going to look like when it's fully public. Now, I did get to test out Google Stream or Project Stream, I should say, last year playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And I got a free PC version of Assassin's Creed Odyssey out of it, and that's cool and everything, and it actually worked very, very well. I actually live-streamed it for some of you guys. The show is a proof of concept about how game streaming is actually much further along than the public was aware of. They thought, oh, because, you know, we don't have the internet infrastructure like Japan has, you know, we can't have this. Well, we can. A lot of people in the United States can enjoy game streaming right now. So uh, some people are scared about this this future, this project stream future, this X it's extreme future wherever streaming's going but uh i'm all for having games available on switch that aren't otherwise available um such as assassin's creed odyssey and uh i'm hearing some uh words through the grapevine i'll probably make an individual video on this later that red dead redemption 2 is coming to project stream i'm just i'm throwing that out there i don't i can't confirm this i'm just hearing some some murmurs from some people that i know in the background they're kind of like hey look like watch out for this it might be coming it might not be coming uh, or it might be announced, I should say, next week, or they might not announce it next week, but it's probably still coming. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably make a video on that. But thanks for tuning in, and I will catch all of you guys in the next video.